Swans do through their skipper, Mark Browning. He's gone for a pass down towards centre-half forward. A clash of players there. The umpire has found a free kick to Footscray and it will be going to Egan. Michael Egan at centre-half back. Decides to go for the long handball out towards centre wing. That's OK. It uh, comes back in turn to Callum from Persa. The Bulldogs swing into attack. They're in uh, attack for most oh. of the first quarter early on. Now Emma Dunn has a chance and he's only about 15 metres out from goal. Well, the difference now, 22 plays, 10 in favour of the Swans. What's that again? A good mark to Emma Dunn. I think he may have been a little bit surprised that time it came so easy. He judged that to perfection and uh, Tony Danaher making the mistake of not going through and trying to punch the ball away. There's the kick coming up. A goal. A ball up at centre half forward for Footscray. Main goal kicker for the Footscray side so far is Edmund. Kappa has four for the Sydney Swans. Played a great game up forward. Picked up by McPherson. A snapshot at goal is close and marked by Emmett Dunn right on the kickoff line. So Dunn having a chance to bring up his second now. With Richmond, of course, he played mainly in defence. A chance to score a goal here and his second for the afternoon. A badly needed one for Footscray if he can get it. In fact, he needed to fall over to miss it. He hasn't. Two goals to Emmett Dunn and a badly needed one for the Scraggers, 11-14 to 7-6. That's all uh, Steve McPherson back on the ground, uh, quick to get back into the play and uh, he uh, got that kick down and we watch the replay now. Kennedy, the loose ball comes out to Steve McPherson, snaps toward goal but dropping short straight into the arms of Emmett Dunn. Plot didn't make any mistake at all. Well, Footscray hanging on but... Just over the 24 and a half minute mark, 28 points the difference in favour of the Sydney Swans. Oh, fumble that time uh, by uh, McPherson. Rod McPherson goes for a pass, it'll be all right on mark there by Neil Caldy. Back to Rod McPherson again. The kick is a long one over half forward. Now having a battle there with Carter, got one hand, he's got the mark! Oh, they're making their run a little bit too late, I should imagine. We approach the 25 minute mark. He's got a chance to score, he's only about uh, 30 uh, metres out from goal. As Emma Dunn uh, was a little bit unfortunate not to be paid a mark just a few moments ago. Right. And uh, for Miss, they were in there with a chance once again, although I think time was running out. Kick coming up now for uh, Bob Dunn on its way. It's a goal. So it's 22 points the difference.